To add a dependency to a Gradle project, we first need to declare the repository to fetch the dependency from. The most basic sort of repository is just a folder full of jars, which Gradle calls a flat directory repository. All repository configuration is done inside a repository script block. For a flat directory repository, we just add a flat dir block and configure the directories we want to include. This is a great option if you're migrating an existing project to Gradle or using a dependency that's not available from a remote repository. But it also means you forgo a lot of Gradle's advanced dependency management features. The repository script block also allows you to use shortcut methods for commonly used repositories such as Maven Central, Maven Local, or JCenter. Simply call the appropriate method and the repository will be automatically added. This is by far the most common way to declare a repository. Gradle also supports resolving managed dependencies from Maven and Ivy repositories. The syntax for both is the same. Simply place your configuration in an Ivy or Maven block. For both Ivy and Maven repositories, the only required configuration element is the location of the repository expressed as a URL. In some cases, credentials may be required to access a repository. You can easily provide a username and password by placing them inside a credentials block. Gradle supports a number of protocols for accessing repositories. In addition to the standard HTTP and HTTPS, Gradle also supports SFTP and file-based repositories like this.